Dallas police are investigating whether three recent murders of women found in Oak Cliff near the Trinity River are related. So right now they're asking for information, but they've stopped short of saying whether they believe or not the women were all killed by the same person. Fox 4's David Centendry, live in Dallas, Dallas Police Headquarters with the story. David. Yeah, Dallas police say there might be a connection between the three murders, but at this point in time, they say they're not exactly sure. They have not used the phrase serial killer, as many people have been asking us on social media. Dallas police say they are pushing this information out in the interest of public safety. Three women in the same area of southwest Dallas have been murdered since April, according to Dallas Police Department. It's now investigating a possible connection between the three murders. Police believe at least two of the three victims have possible ties to prostitution. The first thing it reminded me of is just how violent this industry is. Bianca Davis is CEO of New Friends, New Life, a Dallas nonprofit working to help human trafficking victims get out of their situation. So it is not surprising that a violent industry could end in homicide. On Saturday, April 22nd, just after 8 in the morning, 60-year-old Kimberly Robinson was found dead near 8th Street and Corinth Street Road in a grassy area along the Trinity River. Dallas police did not say how she was killed. On Saturday, June 24th, 25-year-old Cherish Gibson was found stabbed to death in the same area. And on Saturday, July 15th, an unidentified woman was found dead just a couple miles away, also along the Trinity River. And it also reminds us that women aren't stepping into this by choice. I mean, who wants to be fighting for their lives? Davis says violence against prostitutes is common. At New Friends New Life, 81% of our women have been strangled by either a pimp or a john. And we know that non-fatal strangulation is the last step before homicide. And she says many people who find themselves on the streets likely have very few other choices. Sometimes if a woman's in a strip club or on a corner, it's easy to assume that it's her choice and she just made some bad decisions. This isn't something that she wants. Dallas PD chose to not make anyone available for an on-camera interview with us today, and they did not respond to some email questions, including whether or not they believe this could have been a serial killer. And we also asked if there could be any additional cases that they might be looking at that could also be connected to these three, possibly connected. So we'll keep asking questions, but for now, Steve, Heather, I'll send it back to you all. There you go. David, thank you.